dropping off my little man and shit like that, right? And um, we had a conversation, and it's something that I noticed. That's a real grown problem. And if we don't see it and we don't correct that now, then the state of um, men and boys and shit like that is, is done. It's over. So I was watching America's Got Talent last night. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at it, you know, just going through shit. And they had this 13 year old girl up there, right? She was blowing it down, talking about she was singing since she was three, this and that, you know, they be having all the fucking stories, right? And then I was watching um, an old thing, an old episode of Shark Tank. 11 year old, do you remember the 11 year old Aboriginal girl that had the, um, the lemonade? Then I was watching an Instagram video with these 12, 13, 14 year old girls that were selling the cookies in the train station. And then I was watching um, something about these these 14, 15, 16 year old girls in Texas that had some type of company and all that. And I said, wait, 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 wait. We missing something. You got all these little girls, you know what I mean, running around here with these businesses. Even when you seen the doggy treats, it was a little girl on Shark Tank who, I forgot it. The little girl decided that she wanted to have doggy treats, organic doggy treats for dogs. And I'm saying to myself, are the parents really teaching the girls how to be business owners while the boys are being taught how to do nothing? And it kind of like struck me as odd that it's nothing but little girls that's actually have their own business. Whereas in the boys, they're not doing shit. So, we're being taught, they're being taught to be creative. Tapping into something, an industry, that's so broad that they can make bread. Whereas in boys are being taught, what are we being taught? So I had to think about that for a minute. Because... The success stories that you're seeing are girls. That's what we're seeing. And we got to curve that. And this is for anybody who has a son, especially an aboriginal son. So, yeah, so all y'all people out there with these mixed sons, you got to understand this one thing. Mixed sons, regular aboriginal sons and all that, at the end of the day, they still... They still black. And they're going to get served. Yeah, you loving them and, oh, this is my sweet baby and all that. You're babying them. And that's the problem with mothers and fathers who's not in their children's life that baby their kids. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we live in a fantasy world. We're either too hard on the boys or we're too soft on them. There's no balance to that. And that's the father's fault. And the reason why I say that's the father's fault, because we're supposed to step in and give him the raw truth, especially if you're aboriginal. The raw truth is there. You're going to be served an uneven plate where everybody got got a full plate of your full nutrients. You're going to be served the scraps. And I don't care if your mother's white, your mother's Asian, your mother's Arab, or vice versa, your father's white, father's Asian, father's um, um, Arab, whatever, it don't matter. At the end of the day, this society is going to see you as a nigger, straight up and down. And you mothers who, or you, you parents, really, who's of another nationality, need to understand this one thing. Your mixed child is susceptible to the racism of this country, of this world. Put it like that, right? But we're not teaching the boys to be strong. We're teaching the girls to be strong. Because you know what's one thing that's accepted? A mixed girl. She's going to always be accepted. An aboriginal girl of chocolate skin is always going to be accepted. Always. 
So don't think for one minute, you know, they're like, oh, you don't understand what girls go through. But you know what? They don't discriminate against the girls the way they do against the boys. A chocolate girl does not have to worry about being killed as a chocolate boy. Nobody ain't thinking about a chocolate girl having to go outside and get killed. Yes, yeah, she might get kidnapped just like the boy would, but not killed. So that's so I'm, I'm, I'm hitting on both angles because sometimes as, as people, we look at, I, and this is for other races too. They all have a, a baby that's, that's considered black because they're not black. They thinking that their life is going to be all right because they're not black, but your child is. And these people are targeting children. But at the same time, I be seeing like all these people be putting up all these videos and all these things about their children on some baby and shit. But you're not teaching them when you get older. You, you got, life is real. That's a fantasy world. And for the boys, we're teaching them nothing. And that's the father's fault. Homie, I'm going to put it like this. Teach your son to be creative. The mothers are going to be nurturing. We can't put that pressure on the females all the time. It's time for us to step up as men and teach these boys the raw truth. Who cares what these religious people and these so-called softies are talking about? First and foremost, my kids know you can get killed at any time. They're killing six, seven, eight, nine-year-olds straight up. They're kidnapping your little ass. So stop teaching these kids, these boys, that, oh, you're a kid, so you're good. Hell no. They giving them time in jail. So they got a lot of elements against them. It's time for us as fathers to, to, to bring our sons up the way they need to be brought up, not the way we were brought up. We were brought up a little bit different. We, we were raw when we, we when I was young. Yeah, you already knew it was real. We knew it was real. Nowadays, they're living in a fantasy world, yo. They're living in a fantasy world like nothing can happen. Shit can happen. You parents is funny style. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got this way of teaching your kids and you setting them up for a real big disappointment, yo. It's, it's real out here. And I'm going to tell y'all this. And I'm going to say this once again. Stop sugarcoating shit. Because this world is not sugarcoating nothing for us, B. I'm teaching my children that, yo, you will get slapped in the face with a frying pan by society if you sleep. Know what I mean? So it's time for us to step up, teach these boys. Now, I'm not talking about the girls no more because they already in the... Mothers is already teaching their daughters that they can... If you teach your daughters that you can get raped, you can get kidnapped, but you're not teaching your sons the same thing. And then when they get jammed up or they fucking up in school, you beat their ass. But you're not teaching them that, yo, shit is real. So you blaming a boy. Huh? Nah, fuck all that. Men, I don't care if you don't get along with the woman. Step up and take care of your kid, man. That's why we getting our ass handed to us. That's why these little boys are becoming gay. Because they're watching the mothers treat the girls better than them. So they think if they become a girl, they'll be treated better. And society is giving them a rude awakening. It's time for us as men to step the fuck up. Slay motherfuckers.